gotta squat down so I'm in the frame breakout. Mm, 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 mm. That's a lot of sticks. Three, breakout. Two, one, bro. What's up everybody, my name is Michael Lee Murphy. I'm one half of the Brothers Murphy, and it's time for Meta Game Minute. And I gotta get real serious with you this week. Why is getting rid of games so hard? We've talked about this many times, but what do you do when you have a game and it's just not getting on your table and you don't have any more space? We have a lot of shelves over here that are full of things. Why is it so hard to let go of something that I don't even make use of? Man, if it doesn't spark joy, why do I keep it? Is it just because of the potential energy that's within that game? And I just, I struggle with this. I can't. We have reached capacity in this house. This studio is full. We cannot take more games. And so we said like, that's it, dude. We're going for it. You got to get a game. You got to lose a game. So that way you only have the games that you really like. And so far, I have just not followed that rule i just keep putting more games in this house and we and i just i'm stuffing them in everywhere man i've got i've got chits in like cereal boxes and stuff hidden places so that people don't know how many games i got in here because i'm trying to hide it you know and i, I just it just it hurts I, I just games i don't i i know when i look at it i know it in my heart i'm like i'm never gonna play you we could we could we could lie to each other all day but look, why why waste time? You ain't getting played. You know you ain't getting played. I know you ain't getting played. But no one else can play with you. It's like, I don't, why am I so broken? I need to know, okay? I think it's like somewhere in my heart, I just, I imbue everything with, with a soul. And I think of like, if this was Toy Story, this game is gonna be so sad. All the meeples inside there are going to be crying every night. They're like, I really thought it was going to happen this time. I really thought they was going to play me. And, and if I'm like packing it in a box to take to, to the Boys and Girls Club or something, someplace where it's going to get loved and used, I just can't help but think it's going to go through some sort of separation anxiety. That's not what's happening. The logical part of my brain knows this, but I struggle. Do you have the same problem as me? Is it hard to call games? Is it hard to trade games? In my money, I think like, okay, if I trade a game, then I'm getting something back, and it, that's something that that person really wants, Saboteur and Talisman. And I question this person's taste because they also want Munchkin, and they're gonna give me TI4 for those three games. And so it's like, everybody wins. But I still don't, I've, I'm just, I haven't, I haven't dipped my toes into the tradesies really yet. Uh, with just a couple exceptions, which Nick handled because I would have been too torn up about it. Do you have this problem? Or do you understand that like, this game was great. This game gave me all these great experiences and now I'm done with that. Like I have a friend who's very good at that. They play a game, they love a game they then trade it and get something else. Once they've played it to whatever in their mind, they're like, that's, that's as many plays as I need out of that. And, and, and I'll play it again at some point, but it'll be rare, but someone else owns it. I don't need it in my house. Like this friend got Viticulture, got upgraded coins for Viticulture, said he played it like, I played it like 20 times and that was good. And then I sold it. And, I'm, and all, my, all I can think of in my heart is how dare you? What is wrong with you? You're a monster. You love this game and then just like kick it to the curb. Like that's fine. You're all used up now. There's, there's a bit of roughness around the edges of your cars. Get out of my house. Talk about Cult of the New. And I was like, that doesn't compute. That's my number two game. You think I'm getting rid of the number two game? You're crazy, pal. I'm not getting rid of my number 300 game. That's... I gotta meet, I gotta get closer to the one than the 300, but I just, I can't. And his eyes, it's, it, it makes sense. He's just like, I'm not gonna play it as often and I can get good value. It's got a lot of good trade value and stuff. Treating it like a used car or something. I just can't. Can you help me? Is it, is it fair to trade games? Is it fair to give away, sell games, whatever you wanna do when you're done with it? What do you do if it's a game that either didn't resonate with you, did resonate with you, but it's just like, I, I'm, I'm done with it. I played it. I don't, I don't need to play it often anymore. Like we have a lot of games that fit that category that are great. Love it. I played it a few times 
and it's just not going to hit the table very often. So like uh, probably a good game is a played game. And, and, and so are we holding things back? But I don't know. What should I do? What do you do? Put them in the comments below. How do you manage your space? We've talked on these, these, these subjects before about, you know, when do you decide to start getting rid of games and all that. But like, how do you make it make sense here and here? Okay, that's what I need. How do I link these two? The, the logical part gets it. This part's holding it back. I need help. I need you to do it. Help me out, folks. And in, in speaking of helping me out, you can help me out in a few different ways. Thumb this video up. Thumb this video down. Whatever you feel about it, thumb it that way. Comment on this video one way or another. Tell me I'm nuts. Tell me I'm absolutely right to think that these things are alive and play with themselves when the lights are off. I can't have said that better. I'm not even gonna pretend I could have. That's the perfect way to say it. Give me comments below uh, of what you do with this situation. Share this video if it resonates with you and you think someone else has a really interesting point or someone suffers like I do and they say like, you're not alone. Look at this guy, look at this bing bong over here. Share this video. Give a subscription if you're new to us because we have a lot more of these things. I'm not always in an existential crisis. It's right about 34% of the time, but uh, other days I'm great and uh, I'm not worried about my, my board game collection and how happy it is. Um, <laughs> anyway, folks, that's all I have for you this week. How do you get over the heartache of having to cull your games or trade away or whatever to do because space is a thing? Square footage is very expensive in LA and I just can't anymore. I can't keep propping up couches and stuff on board games and pretend that that's why it's there and it's not because I can't manage to get rid of Talisman. Help me out, folks. Put those things in the comments below. And just remember that whether or not you got it like that and you just keep every game, no matter what, and you'll find a way or you just have a whole house that's just for your games or you are just ruthless like my friend uh, and just get rid of everything once you've played it two times and decide like, yeah, you're old. Going for a blonde now. Give me a blonde game. I'm tired of this one. Uh, the more meta, the more better. Yeah.